So that's uh, Mr. Cal Williams going to get gas. Uh, the reason there's our episode is here is because <laughs> we, we uh, three days ago, we were running on mm, no gas, essentially, in the middle of nowhere, and we came upon this gas station and picked up gas here, and I've never, like, been happier for a long time, because I was pretty sure I was going to have to push a car here, because we were going to run out of gas. So this is a very special place. It's called Casey's General Store. They also have gas. Also, if anybody wants to tell me the difference between unleaded and super unleaded, I'd be thrilled. Because we really wanted to buy some super unleaded. Just because we think it'll, like, make the car, like, a race car. But we're pretty sure that's not what it means. And you got it taken care of already. Serious business. I hope we got super unleaded. I hope we got super unleaded, too. And, uh, by the way, this is the only gas station for, I don't even want to say about tens of miles. Tens? Yeah. Tens of miles. Tens of miles for at least 40 miles, right? Yeah. More than 40 miles. Look at these kids. Look at these kids. Look Going at them. Cigarettes. Going to buy cigarettes. They're in the UFC, too. <laughs> we, we met a guy here last time who was in the UFC. He had a UFC shirt, so I'm just assuming. He fought Chuck Liddell once. It was good. He's from this area. And lost. And lost, sadly. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else there is to say here. Except this time we're going to have a full tank of gas before we go home. It's going to be a sweet deal. Two large pizza... Oh, wow. They sell pizza here, too. And they have a DVD rental. This is like... This is like a saloon. This is really the only place they have. This is all they have. Like, you know how kids hang out at the mall normally, at normal places? This is where kids hang out. It's a pretty small place, so it's good for them that there are only 12 kids in the neighborhood. And the school is basically a closet. <laughs> it's not a joke. The church is a shed. Legitimately a shed. Um, when they have weddings, they just stick the bride and groom in there with a priest. And they have them come out, and then the reception is like in a field. It's at this store. Yeah, <laughs> the reception is at this store. And they ride horses to get here. Yeah. Is this Indiana? Yes, it is. This is in Indiana. We're near the Illinois border, though. So we're going to be back to another wasteland and then back to humanity. This guy, see this guy here in this car? I don't know what it is. Dodge. He keeps looking at me like he thinks I'm filming him. He's probably right. But I don't care. Yeah, they have really expensive cigarettes here. I don't know why. Probably, it's probably a good idea because then there's nowhere else people can go. You can either buy from here, or you don't get them. Or yeah, or make your own cigarettes. So jack up the prices, right? I think Cal's got another five-hour energy. And we need another five-hour energy because yeah, this is a really long episode. Really one of the longer ones, but I'm bored. One. What if I put it sideways and now? Now it's like you're tall. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, but now, no, it's confusing. It just looks like you're, like, really weird. I forgot. The camera doesn't flip. Okay. I don't know what else to say here at Casey's General Store. It's owned by the Reds player of the same name. The Cincinnati Reds. Oh, Cubs are in first place today. Ha! Suck it. Uh, if anybody watches this uh, in October... Hopefully that's still like a relevant thing. The Cubs are in first place or the, in the playoffs. Whoa! This guy has the coolest goatee I've ever seen, and by that I mean he knows I'm filming it too. Oh well. He's in a Mustang. He has a pretty sweet goatee. I wonder if he can see me. Uh, I wonder if I can see him rather. No. No shirt on. No shirt on. Ah. The back of his shirt says, you don't know me. Or his hat, my bad. That's a sweet OT. Alright, let me see if I can get it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is so stupid. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He doesn't have the internet. Oh, I'm almost sure that nobody here has internet. You may say, why? Because I have no cell phone coverage here. Oh, bam. No bars. And I won't for another 20 miles or 30 miles. You wanna know why? Because T-Mobile assumes there aren't people here. Well, there are T-Mobile. All 72 of them. This guy gets and they need cell phone service. 
No, that guy's using a government issued phone. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> it works on like moon waves. Okay, I'm done. Bye.